there tonight, so it looks like they're going to be playing without his services, but otherwise, it looks like they're going to be at as much full strength as uh, they can be. Uh, having that big cannon from uh, Frank Hallman, Chris Horsley is such a skilled sh uh, player. He's so shifty. And Felix Rosberg, who, as far as I can tell, has kind of appeared out of nowhere. Uh, I just started seeing him last season, and this guy, he's got great hands and he's got some wheels. So they got a lot of ways to burn you. They're one and one this season, looking to try and break 500. So let's talk to Amy about Team Delgado. Well, Team Delgado is actually coming off of a big win from last week. They won 4-6 to six against Team Divlamink. Um, they're expecting a full lineup tonight with John Peterson returning. Um, one of our good scores for Team Delgado, and they're expecting a lot out of him tonight for sure. Um, also, Amber and Anjanette are both enjoying some good starts to the season as well and will um, provide a good offensive opportunity for them to score tonight as well as Mark Ignazewski is also coming off of a rare two-goal game with John Peterson gone from last week. So they're really prepared for tonight and really um, ready to step up the game and get some shots in there for them. On the defensive line, they got Jordy Boom and Steve Manville and also the captain Joey Delgado. And they should be pretty okay for the most part on the defensive end. Um, we're gonna expect some, a lot of scrappy play from the women on Team Delgado, but that's always expected as always. Also, their goalie, Lauren Ringelman, for the first time ever for her three, first three season career, she's 2-0 and oh for the season. So that's really exciting to see her and definitely someone to watch for the rest of the season. And it looks like we're getting ready to start the game soon. All right, so uh, we will go ahead and have a nice little hard cut. And when you see us next, well, you won't be seeing us next. You'll be seeing the face-off at Center Ice. B5 is Peterson, right? On, on the far side. Right in the middle. Yeah. Who's got the puck right now? Yeah, yeah, he's on it. He's on it. Who's? No, the, the one in the in the blue. Matthew. Okay, okay. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Well, you got to hear all sorts of uh, rambling between uh, me and Joey. There, there's uh, some cute confusion. Um, I blame his uh, his note taking. You know, which uh, obviously is. He's, he's flying by the seat of his pants. He has no idea what jersey everybody's going to be wearing. So we appreciate him making it that much easier for us so we can call the game for you. But it looks like we're underway, and the puck is already deep in the Delgado zone, and Team Holman is already buzzing around Ringelman. They've already gotten, I'd say, two or three shots off at least one quality scoring chance uh, from the likes of Rosberg, Horsley, Holman, and uh, Matt Deering who are out there. So they are starting uh, with pretty... Pretty strong core right out of the gates. Team Delgado now has it around behind the net. They give it up to the always dangerous superstar, Chris Horsley. I don't want to talk this guy up too much, but you watch him for five minutes and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Over to Deering down in the corner. Has Rosberg in front and it goes just wide. On Jeanette, chips it ahead. There's nobody there. And Frank Hallman, who's very nicely wearing the C on his jersey. That makes it easier for everybody. Frank's a new captain, so I guess he's taking it pretty seriously. And ooh, took out his man there, but uh, no call. So we'll probably let that one slide. Holman skates it in. The flex high off of Amber's stick, off the glass, and we're gonna get a face off in the Delgado zone. Looks Four like both teams are getting down the rink pretty fast tonight. No, there's, there's a lot of jump in their steps, and. Uh, Given the nature, the explosive nature of these teams, I don't expect to see much of a grinding game. I think we're going to see a lot of north, north, south here tonight. Battling for that faceoff is uh, Robert Hobbs, and his team comes away with it as Manville throws it around to the Delgado captain, Joey Delgado. Now, Chris, I got an early question for you. Alrighty. How do they determine which faceoff circle to go to when a I guess a penalty is called or when the puck is stopped. That's an excellent question. As you can see, there are nine face-off circles, or face-off dots rather. Oh, and they score! Rosberg goes five-hole, and Ringelman gives away an early one that I think she would like to have back. 20-30 is the time of the first goal, and Team Holman takes the lead. As we were saying, <laughs> right now they're setting up at, obviously, the middle dot, which 
Conspicuously, there is no dot on this ring, but that's okay. <laughs> there's there's the circle. Everybody knows that they drop it at center ice. Looks like they're going to do it again. I think they called that a hand pass. But basically, and I sometimes I've seen them do it a little bit differently in the spaces between the dots, but for the most part, it's expected that you're going to drop it at whichever dot is closest to where play has stopped. So in, t in the case of the goalies, whatever side the goalie was on when they froze the puck, that's going to be the side that the face-off will take place on. Now occasionally, pucks going out over the benches, for example, you might see a face-off in between two dots, or in the case of a penalty, but not too terribly frequently, as for the most part, you're going to see a face-off on one of the nine dots, or eight dots and a circle, I guess. Or, now that I look at it, four dots, a circle, and four squares. I don't know <laughs> what they're doing here, but you get the idea. Delgado tries to get it in front and cannot. Looks like there's a hockey game going on, so we'll talk about that for a bit. <laughs> it was a hockey-related question. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I digress. Holman gets it over to Horsley, who skates along, along the, right, the right wing. I can't talk anymore. Gets it to the circle and just chips it in. Ringelman had to kind of fight that one off. They work it out safely. It's pretty late tonight, but I wouldn't expect her to be too tired for this game. No, I think both teams have come to play. Definitely going to keep her on her toes over there. Absolutely. Puck goes all the way down. Delgado and Boom now collecting it. Delgado's got it. And he begins to skate it up. John Peterson, who was... Uh, he was absent from last week's game. I can't say that he was really missing because uh, Team Delgado fared just fine without his offensive skills. He's back in the lineup. You see him out there right now wearing number 35. And look for him to be an impact player tonight, as, uh, as you said, Amy. He's, he's, he's a pretty dynamic player, as we saw in the first week. And uh, Team Delgado is only going to benefit from having another set of legs, especially one as skilled as his out there tonight. Holman definitely chips it back to Horsley to avoid the turnover. Rossberg tries to send it back to Holman. It's a foot race. Boom gets to it first, but it goes up and into the netting. 17.45 to play. 1-0 to score. Team Holman in the lead. Face off just shy of the red line. Jordy Boom tries to chip it through, but can't. Altavia takes a shot high, goes wide. Delgado in the corner, skates it around behind the net. He's got Boom and Hobbs in front of him, and Brandon on the weak side. But he skates it in all alone, gets it to the high slot, but loses it to a good stick by Rossberg. Jordy Boom's there, though. Just kind of chips it ahead. Brandon couldn't get there in time, and Rossberg settles things down. And immediately sends it out for Ebony Pendleton. Takes a little bit of a spill, but Boom has a little bit of trouble with it behind the net. He chips it high off the glass, but doesn't get it out. Rosberg skates to the circle. He's got help, but he decides to take the shot on his own. Turned aside by Ringelman. Seems like Team Holman is not shy tonight about getting those shots at that net right now. Oh, yeah. They're definitely taking every opportunity. It looks like Team Delgado is going to have to start doing the same to get any type of leeway and get in front of these guys. Yeah, we're, we're definitely seeing more chances by Team Hallman so far. Hobbs feeds the front, but Horsley definitely turns that one aside, and Rossberg tries to skate it out, passes over to Altavia. Along the left wing, gets to the circle, chips it in. Delgado's there. Big pile up in the back behind the net. Three or four bodies down. Delgado's got one man in pursuit. He turns it away, feeds boom. Boom just chips it in as Hobbs took a spill, but he's back to collect it, and Pendleton fights it off, and she tries to skate it out. Passes through three Team Delgado players, but Deering couldn't control it, and Delgado enters his zone once again. Amber Brandom down low in the right corner, sends it out in front. No forwards there to collect it, but good work by Manville to keep the play alive, but Pendleton's going to get it out, but Boom intercepts. Jordy Boom skates it up. Skates it in deep now to Peterson. He's got Pendleton and Rosberg. Tries to feed in front on Jeanette. 
doesn't go. And here comes Horsley down to the right wing. Cuts to the middle. He's got help on either side. He finds Rosberg on the right. He's got Deering in front. Backhand attempt. And that one had a chance. I think Manville got a piece of it to send it just wide. He saw daylight and was not afraid to take those tricky backhand shots. Deering works it around, but Boom beats him. Long reach of Jordy Boom. We always like talking about that. He crosses the red line. Good play there to beat uh, Pendleton. Sends it in front, and Anjanette just wasn't quite there. Couldn't have her stick down. Good play, though. Manville chips it ahead. And Anjanette's going to pick it up. Interesting to note, we're not seeing Anjanette and uh, Amber Brandom on the same line tonight. Deering takes a shot. Ringelman hangs on. 14 minutes to play. There's going to be a face-off in the Delgado zone. It's an interesting lineup that they have for the Delgado team right now. It's different to see Anjanette and Amber not together on the same lineup, as you were saying, pointed that out. Personally, I got to question that move. I think those two have been having some great chemistry. It's definitely changed the tempo for sure. Deflected in front, and Joey was almost responsible for another one in on uh, Ringelman. And if that was the case, would not be the first time that Joey has accidentally deflected the puck past her. We saw a couple of those in one game last season. So I'm sure we're looking to avoid that kind of a mistake again. Horsley gets it to Altavia, but he can't make anything of it. And Peterson begins to skate it out. Gets beat by Captain Hallman. Strong stick there. He's a big, powerful guy, as you can see. Skates it in. Backhand feed in front goes across the goal mouth. But Rosberg retains possession. Works it along the half boards. Tries to feed Hallman. Well played by Rieger to break it up, but they turn it over. Hallman getting ready to load up, and he tried to feed Rosberg, but the pass was just high. Rosberg didn't have a chance to bat that one out of the air and deflect it in on Ringelman. Horsley tries to feed, uh, I believe that's Altavia. He can. No, I'm sorry, that's Deering. I'm getting them mixed up. The one with no numbers, Deering number nine is Altavia. No numbers blue pants, no numbers yeah. black pants. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. Horsley now. Back to Hallman. Hallman commanding the point for his team. Just sends one in. I think, once again, Joey got a piece of that one. It took a bounce that Ringelman wasn't ready for. In front. Works it out. Rosberg backhand goes just wide. Another one in front shoots. And Ringelman's got it. That's a big stop on a chance in front. Delgado's got to try and get back on their horse here if they want to get back into this game. And that is an opportunity lost by Team Hallman to take a 2-0 lead here early. Face off in the Team Delgado zone. Rossberg versus Brandon. Brandon wins it over to Jordy Boom. He gets it up to her, but Pendleton, great stick there by Ebony. Just beats Amber. Nice save by Captain Delgado. Wheels it around and tries to get it back to Amber, but can't. And Altavia is going to skate it around now. Feeds it up to Rossberg, who's got two men to beat. Tries to get around Boom and does. Takes the shot. Oh, and she dropped it. Ringelman dropped it, but Captain Delgado was right there to clean up the garbage. If there were any home and forwards there, that was an easy tap in. Boom takes a shot from the point. Can't get it through the legs. Horsley skates it up. Misses Rossberg on the pass and it goes deep in the Delgado zone. Joy picks it up and he's got Hobbs on the left wing with him, but he turns it over to Rossberg. There's the two battle for it down low. Joy comes away with it now and he's got two forwards ahead of him. He feeds Amber on the weak side. She gets locked out by Horsley. He's going to back it up. Feeds Delgado behind the net, and they try to start the attack again. Works away off Pavia, but a kind of careless blind spin around on pass to no one. None of his players were in position there. Boom. I mean, he had Hobbs streaking, but I don't know if he saw him. Instead, he went for Brandon, who had two men on her. She sees Hobbs, though. 
goes just off his stick and he battles Ebony down low. He wins that one. In front, just through the legs of Horsley. Down to Brandon. Brandon chips it all the way back around, rimming it around for Hobbs. Hobbs collect it. Couldn't get a scoring chance out of that zone time though. Here comes Rosper. Crosses the red line, he beats Jordy Boom. He's got Delgado, he takes a shot! Saved by Ringelman. 9.35 to play, still 1-0, Team Home. Face off in the Delgado zone is won by Altavia. And Ebony tries to feed Holman, but it's broken up by Anjanette Rieger, and she's got a breakaway chance. Holman plays well defensively, but the puck is still up for grabs. Peterson couldn't get away with it now. Rieger tries to harass his stick, but can't. He takes a shot, it goes wide behind the net, and it's picked up by Altavia. In front, Deering gets it out in front. And Pendleton's got it at the circle, takes a shot, deflects wide. Matt Deering again, takes a spill, Jordy Boom's got it. He's just gonna skate it out himself. He's got one man on him, but he easily beats him with long strides. He's got two people in front, tries to center it. Good block there, way to break up the play by Frank Hallman. Peterson gets the puck in front, but Delgado player couldn't get their stick on it to direct it on net. Joey now, stick handles around two people. He's got Ebony harassing him. He's deep in front, tries to tap it in, can't. Peterson whiffs on the shot. Jordy Boom with the attempt. I meant Peterson. <laughs> I get them all mixed up. Don't worry. About I'm learning it. just as you are. Absolutely. Peterson tries to take a shot. Bad angle, but had a chance. Holman's going to skate it out, though. Goes wide. Takes a shot, and it's a goal. Kind of like a toe drag in slow motion. He slowly pulled it over to his side and beat Ringelman. It's 2 nothing. Team Hallman now, 7.40 left to play here in the first. Hallman's done a good job to uh, really take control of this game. There's been a few chances, but very few actual pucks on net for Santiago to face. Face off at center. What's the term you'd use for that, a policeman? For what? It, a policeman is not the person that uh, <laughs> sets the rules of the game, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't that be Hallman? Yeah, he's, he's kind of, uh, he, he, he def he's definitely the kind of guy who can dictate the pace. He's, okay. uh, he's, he's got a lot of poise. He's, uh, he's a big, strong character with a good shot and obviously a lot of leadership on the bench. Considering this is, I believe, his third season and uh, he's already a captain. So that's pretty impressive. wins the battle for the faceoff. Gets it back down to Joey, who's got it behind the net. Team Hallman trying to keep the pressure up and increase their lead here. Big shot by Horsley, just off the net. And Delgado skates it up the middle. Normally an ill-advised play, but he stick handles well around Rosberg. Builds the wall, gets it in, takes a shot off of Santiago. Oh, I don't know if uh, Santiago was really comfortable with that save, but uh, he made it and fights that one off as a really impressive individual effort by Captain Joey Delgado to try and get his team motivated here. They're going to have to do some type of change to get the momentum going on their Team Delgado. Seems they're a little bit slow off on the offensive end tonight. Face off win by Team Hallman. Captain Frank rims it around. He's trying to hit Deering. Just got past him. Boom skates it across the red line now. Pinches in deep, beats Rosberg. Feeds the center, he takes a shot instead. Locker save, but the puck comes out to Steve Manville in the high slot. Snapshot, low and hard, but it gets deflected away by a Hallman defender. Rosberg rimming it around. Hallman slows it up. Down along the half boards. Back over to Horsley. Which I'd have to say that Team Holman's defense is quite intimidating tonight and also reflects on their offense. I haven't seen any Team Delgado players crashing the net tonight. Oh, yeah. Attempting to get that, that shot in there. 
Well, when you got uh, when you're when you're bearing down on net and you got Chris Horsley and Frank Holman staring you in the face, that's uh, not not exactly uh, most people's definition of fun. <laughs> they are they're an intimidating force out there, especially as a tandem as we see them now. Holman skates around Ringelman, and unbelievably, she makes the save. From here, it looked like that was a sure thing. It looked like he was just gonna walk that one in, but no. Ringelman somehow managed to fight that one off low. I think uh, Holman thought he had a little bit more time than he did. He missed opportunity to make it 3-0 here. Seemed to just kind of waltz right up to that net right yeah. there, like it was just waiting for him. Oh, I, th I thought that he had that for sure, but he did not. Another face-off win by Holman. Horsley fires a cannon! And Altavia is just going to scoop it in towards Ringelman, who hangs on for another faceoff. Now, correct me if, my, if I'm wrong, is Chris Horsley from Team Delgado? It's from, like, Does Horsley have rumor it? has it, I guess. <laughs> you know what? I think you're right. Now that I'm going over the, uh, the notes here, <laughs> I guess that was the little part that I missed. It's a little bit of interesting trivia. Horsley was a former Team Delgado member, and uh, as Joey writes in our notes, he will definitely be all over the ice. There's no question about it. That's what this guy does. You can see him there, number 13. Keep your eye on him tonight. He is a very dynamic player, very entertaining to watch, and a great personality off the ice. He's got a lot of tenacity tonight, for sure. Oh, yeah. And you see it again as he jumps on the puck, sparking more offense for his team. Nice little drop pass for Pendleton. Deflects off of two bodies. Ringelman fights it off, but Hallman still got the puck as Rosberg wheels around. Shot gets deflected by Delgado. Horsley beats Delgado, he's got a lane. Takes a shot, and I think it, I think Ringelman got a piece of that. If not, then that was off of Boom to send that one to the far side. Brandon chasing it down, but Pendleton easily wheels it out. And none other than Chris Horsley. I wonder how many minutes this guy's gonna log tonight. I don't think I've seen him get off. Horsley in front, Rosberg couldn't get a stick on it. Delgado's got a lot of jump and pitched up as he tries a counterattack. He breaks in. He's got two guys going to the net. Stick handles, stick handles. Wheels around behind the net, and he loses it to Pendleton. I think he probably should have taken a shot there, but I guess he didn't see a lane, wasn't happy with what he was looking at. Nonetheless, Team Delgado retains possession. Steve Manville throws it back down into the zone. Just out of the reach of Peterson. Manville chips it back. But Peterson wasn't back in time, and Pendleton skates it in. She's going to take a shot low and hard. But that one's easily swallowed up by Ringelman. She saw that one the whole way. And especially after that first goal, she wasn't going to let another one like that get fired. She's had so many shots at her tonight, it's probably easier for her to pick up on the shots coming. Oh, definitely. When being able to read the, the players. Always, always like getting in that kind of rhythm. So... We might be worried if I was in Team Hallman's position about just how sharp Santiago is. Pendleton throws it towards the net, but it's a little bit off the mark. Deering battling in the corner now. Hallman collects it, beats Anjanette, throws one high, and that's a goal! I don't think anybody knew that that one really had a chance. There was so much traffic in front. It looked like Ringelman wasn't quite ready for it, but Holman, top shelf from far out, beats Ringelman. It's three nothing with just under a minute to play here in the first. Impressive showing by Team Holman so far. Altavia wins it up. Delgado does well to push him off the line. Gearing over to the captain who loses it to a stick by Rieger, but uh, she got her wires crossed with Peterson. They couldn't make a, a successful breakout. Altavia to Deering, who takes a shot, and Ringelman fights that one off. Pad save. Still in front, another shot. 15 seconds left in the first half. Ringelman eats that one, and we might see a face off, but more than likely, this clock's gonna run out, and we are gonna go to our halftime. 3-0, Team Holman. Yep, not enough time for the drop. So they're going to take a break. We're going to take a little bit break. We'll be back with a quick little summary of the first half.
All right, here we are. It's halftime. Three nothing. Team Holman led by the captain, Big Frank. He's got two goals here and maybe a couple other points. I'm not well. Maybe one more point. And even if he doesn't have points on all three goals, I think he's definitely been a huge presence out there tonight so far. What do you think? Definitely looks like he's out to get that hat trick tonight as well. Um, definitely an offense and defensive presence and very intimidating on that floor tonight. Yeah. Um, I don't blame Ringelman <laughs> at all for letting those goals slide because yeah. definitely intimidating right there. I think I think the first one she'd like to have back, that five yeah. ball, she did well to respond. and She robbed Hallman on what looked like was a really, really easy walk-in goal. So, you know, she's been doing what she can to fight out there, but really, really impressive showing by the team Hallman defense as Delgado's been getting the puck in the zone, but it's always been forced to the perimeter. They've always been working it down low, outside in the corners, or up high, maybe just just past the red line. So, doing really well to force Delgado's offensive weapons to the outside to take those those you know those low those low percentage shots. Could it be that Team Delgado might need to change their lineup? Do you think you know, that could I make think, a difference? I think, I think, that think it's it a might. Mistake separating the women. I <laughs> yes. really do. But uh, we'll see if they do make any adjustments here as we're getting ready to start the second half. So uh, here's the face off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready to drop the puck here. Hobbs and Altavia line up front. Hobbs wins that one for Team Delgado, but it immediately comes back to Chris Horsley. Magnetic on his stick, it seemed. Altavia gets a shot. Boom tried to force him out, but I don't know. It's, it's Team Holman offensively and defensively. They just seem to have this presence right now that's kind of bringing out the worst in Team Delgado so far this season. Delgado's been riding the best start they've had in years, but uh, so far it's looking pretty grim for him. Looks like they got Hobbs on Holman tonight on the second half. That's probably big a good idea. Big That's guy against big guy. That's probably a, bit, a good idea. Hobbs is a real physical presence, if not the most physical presence for Team Delgado. And so to match him up against the big guy, I like that. So it definitely shows that they made some adjustments. Good block by Manville. It's horribly loaded up another howitzer. That one wouldn't go, and Brandon skates it down the left wing. Once again, forced to the outside. In front of Boom, who takes a shot. I think he healed it, and it just went wide. Didn't get that one on net, but it was a good good effort there. It shows that Team Delgado is capable of getting back in this game. But an ugly turnover to Deering, who's basically in all alone, takes a shot and ring him in the save. That was a really, really good job by his offensive partner there, uh, Altavia, to force the Delgado defense away and really make sure that Deering had Ringelman all for himself and that nobody was going to get in the way. It's a good offensive strategy to use. See that other offensive player. And I got a correction to make. I've been calling Jeff Altavia. That is not his name. His name is Alta Villa, or possibly Alta Villa, depending on where he's from. Uh, so many apologies there for misreading and subsequently mispronouncing his name about eight or nine times. Sorry about that, Jeff. Peterson collects the puck down in the corner, throws it in. It won't go. Grinding down in the corner. This game really has turned into more of a down low sort of game. I did not expect that, but that's what we're seeing right now as the home and defense is just keeping Delgado away from those high scoring areas. Rosberg skates it, turns around, finds Pendleton, who takes a shot. That one misses the target and goes around the net. In front to Deering. Matt tried to lift one over Ringelman, but couldn't. Felix Rosberg turns, and his attempt is deflected away by Jordy Boom, who takes his time in collecting the puck. He's got Captain Delgado on the weak side. There's two players in between. Jordy doesn't like the look of that play, so he just wheels it back around. Good job to beat Rosberg there. Jordy's just going to carry it in again. In front! Ringelman! Oh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry, Rieger, Anjanette Rieger, got the deflection, but it lost a lot of steam, and Ken Santiago managed to uh, 
clean up what could have been a dangerous little situation there. And it's still 3 nothing. Team Palmer. That was some good puck handling by Jordy Boom to get all the way down there and to see Anjanette right in front of the net. Yeah, we've been seeing him, him pull that uh, a couple times so far this game, and that was the first time that it's finally clicked. Team Just, Delgado for their first win on the faceoff. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. They, characteristically, they've, uh, they have been not nearly as good in the circle as they have been uh, in the, la the last few seasons. I think a lot of that has to do with losing Mark Poole, who was... An unreasonable 70-some-odd percent, 78 percent in the circle. So uh, you lose him, and you lose your face-offs. But uh, they're doing a good job to retain possession here in the second as they try and not a comeback. Joey, we see this a lot from him when his team is kind of struggling, where he will really try and carry his, uh, carry his guys as much as he can. We saw him stick handling a lot down there. But uh, eventually he just, uh, he just can't go anymore. Turns the puck over. Holman taking his time. He's in no rush. He's got a nice lead. He's just going to throw it in deep. Probably looking for a deflection. Maybe just try and shot pass. Rosberg sends it in front. The boom was well on his man. No chance there. In front though. This one's got a chance. Rosberg took a shot, but not quite on the mark. Team Holman continues to buzz though and give Team Delgado problems in their own zone. And Brandon putting up a fight for that puck. Alta Villa with a good stick knocks her away. And he takes it in. Beats Jordy, takes a shot low and scores. It's kind of a lackadaisy little play by everybody involved. It didn't really look all that threatening. And I think Alta Villa recognized that and really did a good job of making something out of nothing. It's for nothing, Team Delgado. They're in quite the hole here. This is a good bounce back game for Highland as uh, they lost last week 5-1 to one to Team O'Neill. At least the banner of the defending champions. So I think it's uh, going to be good for their bench to, uh, to see all those big numbers on their side of the scoreboard this week. Face off in the Coleman zone. Haven't had too many of those. Not a whole lot of chances for Delgado this period. He had that play between uh, Boom and Rieger, but other than that, Holman has just been dominating the pace here. There's Horsley. Rieger picks it up though. Back to Joey, over to Manville. Steve in front to Peterson, takes a shot! And it's fought off by Santiago, what an incredible save! Peterson. All alone in front, picked a spot and shrugged it away, did Santiago. What a save. Horsley over to Deering. Deering knocks it ahead but loses control of it. This Delgado definitely picks up the puck behind the net and breaks out with his team. He's manning the point, so he's got guys in front of him. Drop pass over to Manville, who takes a shot. Puck in the feet. Four players, and eventually Holman gets it out. No scoring opportunity once again. Another trip down the ice comes up empty for Team Delgado. Not for lack of trying. Rieger throws it ahead, but it's off the mark. Holman takes a spill, but Peterson overskates it. This time Rieger overskates it and can't quite corral it. This time she does. An uncharacteristic sloppy turnover by Horsley turns into a shot on net. But Rieger didn't get a whole lot behind it. Santiago easily turns that one aside. 15-30 to play, 4-0 Hallman. As Captain Frank skates it up and he just fans on the shot. He had a lot behind it, but couldn't get all that energy into the puck. Two captains battling down in the corner. Manville tried to control it. Couldn't, and it comes out to Deering, who chips it in for the goal. Disappointing score right there. Well, if you're Team Delgado. Yeah, but Team Delgado side. For, Forgot for to mention Team that Holman, part. <laughs> for Team Holman, they 
really got to be pleased with uh, their performance thus far. Is Team Delgado out of it? No. But uh, this is a really, really complete game by all hands for Team Holman so far. 14 and a half to go here. And Delgado has got to find a way to generate some offense. Everybody sends it in front. Excuse me, can't make it work. And Hobbs sends it around. Brandon in pursuit of Rosberg. Tries to take his stick away. And his pass to Deering doesn't click. Boom, fights him off. And he skates it over the red line. He's got Brandon on the side and Hobbs in front. We've seen this play before as he feeds it in front. And then Brandon tries to tuck it under him. Hobbs had his hand up. And they are signaling a goal. Brandon digs away at it. And Jordy Boom finally makes the play work. Helps get his squad on the board. Five to one. Plenty of time left here. They just have to seize the momentum. Delgado looking to mount a comeback. He got a face off at center. And the goal scorer, Brandon, loses control of it. Rosberg and Pendleton penetrate deep into the Delgado zone. Just through the feet of Felix. Steve Manville gets to it first and goes down in a heap. Alta Villa played him pretty hard there along the boards. Steve's a tough guy. He's back up and ready to go. Ringelman fights that one off. Blocker save. Diving shot blocked there by Steve Manville. Doing everything he can to try and break up this attack, and it looks like it's working. As Brandon has it but can't control it as she tries to throw it ahead and gives it to Horsley. Horsley takes a shot, pad save, and Manville takes the stick away. Oh, and I think. No, they're not going to call Manville for that. They're going to call Alta Villa. Watch the ref for the call. Okay, now they are going to call it. I guess the ref just didn't realize that Team Delgado had possession for a while. So they are going to call Manville. I believe that's going to be a tripping call. It's a pretty lazy tripping call by the ref, but that is what he's signaling. So this is not what Team Delgado needs. A penalty kill. And uh, Holman's squad looking to put the nail in the coffin, I think. With 12 minutes to play. Alta Villa, who got tripped up by Manville. A little battle down low, wins the draw. Horsley almost gave it away to Peterson. Gets the shot away. Pad save. In front, oh, and he had a man. Hard, crisp pass, but not quite on target. Alta Villa feeds Hallman in the slot. He takes a shot and it's blocked away. Joey and Anjanette now. He tries to feed Anjanette, but a good stick by Horsley breaks that one up. Joey doing what he can to prevent an odd man rush here. Takes a shot shorthanded. That one's saved by Santiago. Santiago hasn't seen a lot of action here, but when he has, he's been solid. Delgado's got it. Delgado is very, very good at killing time. And though that's not necessarily what they want to do for the rest of the game, it's a great way to kill this penalty. There's only about 45 seconds left in it. Easily over now to Rieger. Not getting a lot of offense, but that's all right. They're killing the penalty. Although I'm sure Hallman doesn't really mind all that much either. Frank overskates it, but Peterson can't get there to stop it. Here comes Horsley, tees one up, way off the mark. Couldn't tell if he healed that or if someone got a piece of it. By the way, that one was nowhere near the net. Hallman fires and misses, and it's back over to Horsley on the point. Disrupted by Team Delgado. Chipped, and it wouldn't go. Alta Villa tried to net the power play goal, could not. Manville's getting ready to come out of the box. 
Delgado hanging on to the puck down low. Mosley is the man he's battling with. He has Brandon and she can't put it past Santiago. 9.35. The penalty is now over and it is 5-1 Team Coleman. Another win by Hobbs in the circle. Manville's attempt getting the puck on net broken up by Horsley. And Rossberg now to the high slot. Throws one in. Seems like their strategy is just get pucks on Ringelman, and so far it's been pretty effective. They got a lot of weapons that can burn you, and so far it has been burning Team Delgado. Horsley tees up again. That one off his own man. Deering took that one off his skate. Probably feel that one. Up for Jordy Boom. Who can't carry it. Can't carry it deep enough. Oh, and that one got fought off by Santiago. That one was up high on him and it hit the pipe. Good scoring chance there by Boom. And it turns into Horsley's attempt to feed Deering. And the pass wouldn't click. Manville breaks up the centering attempt and tries to carry it out, but can't get through two men as Rosberg turns it back down to Deering. Deering's got Rosberg in front and shoots and scores! They keep beating Ringelman on that back door right there. Absolutely. She's gonna have to have somebody on her and also help her too so that doesn't happen. Yeah, the Delgado defense is, is kind of leaving her out to dry. She's got to cover the near side post and she just can't get over fast enough to control that situation. 6-1. And this has been a really, really impressive performance by Team Holman. Delgado trying to show that his team's not out of it though as he stick handles through two men but loses it to Rosberg. Does not give up possession though as Jordy Boom's gonna go for that move again. In front, Holman read it well, drops to his knees and breaks it up. 7-15. Holman just chips it ahead. Team Delgado is pinched, but Boom tries to get back and Deering seemed to hesitate a little bit when he saw Jordy skating back and he overskated the puck. Now it's a two-on-one for Delgado. Delgado's got Rieger and Hallman is the defender. Takes the shot, blocked. Delgado still got it. Wheels it around. He's got Peterson manning the point, but he loses it to Hallman. Hallman on a breakaway now. He beats Delgado. Takes a shot. And it goes wide. Battles for it along the half boards. Peterson takes the shot and it's broken up by Pendleton. She blocks that one. Alta Villa over to Hallman, who nearly scored moments ago. They're just gonna dump it down. Get a little bit of a change behind the scenes. Delgado up to Peterson. He's got Rieger, but Pendleton intercepts that one. And manages to work it up to Alta Villa. Jordy Boom back checking, does a good job. Alta Villa blows a tire. Jordy Boom up to Rieger. Boom letting Rieger know that he's there. And he's going to try his move down on the right wing this time. Centers it and Pendleton deflects it on net. That was a dangerous play, but she managed to keep it away from the net itself. Boom blows a tire. But they maintain possession. Delgado's got it. He loads up, fires. Santiago didn't know where that one was. It floated through the crowd, but Horsley's got it down in the corner. Deering tries to beat Delgado. Down to Alta, Vi Alta Villa. Jordy Boom in pursuit. The puck gets worked back to Deering. Deering tried to feed another person in the slot, just like he did on the last goal. Team Delgado's defensive coverage is shored up a bit from where it was a moment ago. Delgado skates around the two attackers from Team Home and it's a three on two. Delgado takes a shot himself and Ken Santiago with the pad save. 
shuts the door. 4 40, and a timeout is being called here by Team Delgado. The timeout has ended. It's a face off in the home and zone. Delgado's going to get credit for the win there. Joey spins around. Team retains possession, and Brandon throws it down into the corner where it comes to Holman. Backhands it over to Horsley behind the net. Horsley loses it. Hobbs got it up to Brandon, but she couldn't make anything of it. And here comes Holman. He's got Rosberg streaking in. Delgado deflected it. Horsley takes the shot, and it's wide. Delgado chips it ahead. Easily collected by Holman there. He tries to throw it in front. He's got it now. Holman loads up and fires. Wide. Rosberg shot. That one deflects high. Delgado getting that one just past Holman. And Brandom feeds Hobbs. He's got it. He's got Manville on the point banging his stick. Joey's just going to take that one on his own. Manville now pinches way in. That one's off the outside of the net. And Rosberg's got it. And if he can feed Holman, Holman's all free. He can't get it through Delgado's feet. And Manville does a good job of back checking to take away the scoring chance for Team Holman. But as he tries to play it off, it gets deflected. Holman broke that one up and had Rosberg streaking in, tried to feed him for the one-timer, and that wouldn't go. Holman loses it down low. Delgado really trying to take control here for his team. He picks it up from Brandon, but loses it to Rosberg. And Rosberg beats Brandon too, but they can't, he can't get around Manville. Up to Delgado. Stick handles one way, runs right into Deering. It's a two-on-one between Deering and Rosberg. Manville, excellent back check there to fight him off. Can't clear it again. Horsley loses his stick. And that one gets up to Peterson. Peterson throws it all the way down. But it's collected by Holman. He just heaves it up towards center ice. Deering now. A little snapshot in. Ringelman leaves it there for Delgado to pick up. 2.09 on the clock. Delgado comes in on his backhand. Pendleton forces him to the outside. He's got two men in front. They take wax at it. Santiago comes up with the saves. But Delgado comes out with the puck. He's got Rieger, and he tries to feed it to her. But good positioning by Santiago and Horsley causes a turnover. Alta Villa, in alone, takes the shot, and it's a save. Manville diving to try and cut the angle away. And a big save by Lauren Ringelman. She has not given up on this game, not at all. 125, though, and it is 6-1 Team Holman. Delgado changes up for the faceoff. They throw it, and Hobbs technically wins that one. Boom. Skates in. Collides with Pendleton. That one looked like it hurt. Pendleton lost her stick. It's taken out of the play. Alta Villa throws it up to Deering, but he can't corral it on his backhand. And Jordy Boom comes in along the left wing. He skates around. Broken up by Horsley, pucks in front. And Hobbs had a chance, but it was swallowed up by Santiago. 40 seconds to play, and it looks like that's going to about do it. They are going to drop the puck, but uh, Delgado not going to bother pulling Ringelman here. This one's pretty much in the books. They line up to the left of Santiago, who's just had a stellar performance for what work he has had tonight. Rosberg. Just dumps it down, 15 seconds. Boom, Con continues to skate. I think he was looking for Delgado there, but it was a little bit off the mark. Nonetheless, three seconds ticked down. Boom, dumps it in deep, and that is gonna do it. 6-1 is your final team, Holman.
in a very decisive victory here. Good job by them to bounce back from what was probably a really difficult 5-1 loss to swallow last week. So both of these teams walk away now with 2-1 uh, records after three weeks. And as we see the uh, ceremonial handshake after the game, uh, pretty pretty impressive showing by Holman. What do you think? Definitely. They did. were intimidating on both offensive and defensive ends. So it was kind of hard for Team Delgado to get some type of a momentum going. Yeah, they never really managed to take off. They were, they were always kind of behind the play, always always fighting the puck, and uh, just good execution on a great strategy with a lot of skilled players out there for Team Holman. And we're going to take a little bit of a break, and we'll be back with our three stars. All right, so it's a pretty... Pretty decisive victory by Team Holman, so it's no surprise that all my three stars are on their roster. Uh, my third star goes to Felix Rosberg. He's uh, an offensive presence out there always. He's very shifty, and when he wasn't scoring, he was creating scoring opportunities, and most importantly, he was being defensively responsible, like pretty much his entire club was tonight. So my third one's going to go to Rosberg for that. Well executed. My second one goes to Chris Horsley. I, I, you know, I mean, do, I'm starting to wonder if he really belongs in this league, honestly. <laughs> he's, he's so good. I've, may, maybe I've just never seen him on a bad night. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm always seeing him on his really good nights. But, uh, man, does that guy know what he's doing with the puck. He's so solid on defense. His positioning, his positioning is impeccable. Uh, just a great game played by him, as usual. And speaking of great games as usual, number one star, Captain Frank Hallman. He got things going early with two goals in the first, really led his team. He was commanding the point the entire time, used a big shot, moved the puck around very well. His defense did a good job of keeping the puck mobile and uh, really forcing Delgado off on their heels pretty much all night. So I, I got to give a lot of credit to Hallman. I can only assume that uh, at least some of that has something to do with his presence on the bench. And even then, he demonstrated on the rink tonight that uh, he knows what he's doing out there with the puck. So number one star for me, Captain Frank Hallman. What about you, Amy? Well, my, I have three stars tonight, not two. <laughs> but to start off, uh, my number three would be uh, Captain Delgado. I felt that he really had a good tenacity throughout the whole game, trying to bring his team up from the game lull that they were going through the whole night. Um, definitely something that was needed, and it showed towards the end. Um, my number two would be Captain Hallman. Um, he had a very intimidating and strong presence on the floor tonight and definitely showed through as part of being a captain and reflected on his team morale because they definitely w played off of that and gave a good defense and offensive play. Um, so my number one would go to the Hallman offense. Any offense is the best defense is my, is my theory <laughs> and as long as they keep shooting at that net they're it's so unrelenting for, hey, we're relentless the, <laughs> for the goalie Ringelman tonight. I yeah. felt sorry for her, but she definitely had her work cut out for her tonight. Know, she, so. she gave up six, but really, I only want to say that maybe that first one she would like to have back. Yeah, and there's uh, a couple of those backdoor ones that yeah. I'm sure she wishes she could have had some help on those ones, too. Yeah, so tough night for Ringelman, tough night for Team Delgado, but a really, really good bounce back night from last week for Team Hallman. So for Amy Gallegos and Scotty, our cameraman, we love you. We love when you do this because we know it's so much better than we do it. <laughs> I'm Chris Blair. This is Hockey Night in Marina. Thanks Bye, for watching. I'm Amy Gallegos. See you next week.